Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we're looking at the top three most counterfeited pennies that you should always be on the lookout for because you definitely do not want to buy one of these pennies for big money if it is actually a fake penny. So we're gonna look at three different dates, what the real ones sell for, what to look for that can make them fake or genuine. And this video is probably gonna be a little longer than my average video. I'll try to make it as quick as possible, but there's a lot of valuable information in this video, so it's probably gonna be a little bit longer. And don't forget guys, if you wanna join my channel, you guys can send coin pictures up to 10 coins a month. You guys can send the pictures to my email. If you guys do become a member, all you guys gotta do is press the join button on my channel it tells you everything you guys get you also get access to exclusive live streams that are from members only so we're gonna be doing some special stuff in those live streams if you guys would like to join let's hop into it and check out these pennies that you should always be on the lookout for all right so one of the most faked Lincoln pennies out there is the 1909 penny now there are a lot of different 1909 pennies we got the 1909P, which is the no mint mark penny here in the image displayed. And then we got the 1909S. You can see that the value varies from $50 to $220. However, it could sell for more money if it is an extremely high graded coin. For instance, here's a 1909S that sold for over $69,000. And that is because of its high grade. Now you see here in this image displayed is the mintage for the 1909S. They only produced 1.8 million of those coins. Just to show you one more 1909S, this one hasn't been graded, uh, sold on eBay, and it's sold as is for $425. So you really see the difference of between a $400 coin and a $69,000 coin. It really all depends on the condition or the grade of the coin. Now for the 1909, we also have a 1909 S. VDB. Now VDB are the initials that are on the back of the 1909 SVDB penny and you can see in this image displayed that they only produced 484,000 of those coins. So these are extremely rare, extremely valuable and that's why a lot of people fake them because they want to sell them for big money. Now. The 1909 SVDB, here's an example of one that is absolutely corroded. It looks, it's in terrible condition. It's just not graded and it's still sold for over $300 on eBay. That's how rare these pennies are. Now here's a stock image of the 1909S. You see they go from around 350 to 700. However, again, if you do have a very high graded example, which this one here is, this one here sold for over $14,000. Now there's also the 1909 VDB. So 1909 no mint mark with the VDB initials there on the reverse of the coin. So always be on the lookout for those as well because those would be valuable. This one here with the high graded version of it sold for over $7,000. $500. Here is an example of a 1909S that has been altered. So they placed a fake mint mark on there. So this is not a real 1909S. It's uh, most likely what they do is they take a regular 1909 penny that isn't uh, as valuable and they put an S mint mark on it or they take a 1909 VDB and put an S mint mark on it to make it appear as if it's a 1909 S VDB, the ones that they only produce 484,000 of. So always be on the lookout for the mint marks. Like I said, if you guys want to send your coin pictures to me, if you click the join button on my channel, you guys can get my feedback and my opinion on your coins. But let's move on to this next picture. Here's a good example of seeing if your VDB is actually fake or real. So we got a genuine example there on the bottom and you can see that the B, the crossbar of the B is slightly tilted. Now if we look at the crossbar on the B on the top version, which is the fake version, you can see that it's more straight. It's not as tilted as the one there on the bottom. So that is a good example of how you can tell the difference. So always be on the lookout for that. If you guys want to see your coins up close, I do have USB coin microscopes available on couchcollectibles.com. Links will be down in the comments of this video. So you definitely want to have one of those if you're looking at your BDB pennies up close. Next up is a 1914 wheat penny. Now this is one of the most counterfeited pennies as well. 
1914 and that's because it's a key date penny as well they only made 1.1 million of the 1914d wheat pennies now i do have a whole video on those coins so be sure to go check that out now for example this 1914 here sold for over four thousand dollars and it's graded at about uncirculated 58 However, if we go to a 1914D that has a very high grade, this one here sold for over $152,000. Yes, these are real auction prices, guys. This is graded at a Men's State 66, and that is what will give it a lot of value for a coin of this caliber. That's why it sold for over $150,000. Now here's a 1914D that is not been graded. It's not in the greatest condition and it only sold for $285, but still $285 for a penny, not a bad profit if you guys do come across something like this because they are extremely rare coins. So here's an example of a 1914S and a 1909S. So you want the S mint mark to look like the one on the left. The 1909 is a genuine S mint mark. The 1914S is a fake S mint mark. So if you guys have any trouble with identifying fake versus real mint marks, like I said, feel free to join the channel and I will check out your coin images. Now next up, one of the most counterfeited pennies of all time is the 1922 wheat penny. Now here's an example of all the 1922 pennies that they actually made. So we got the 1922D, that's just the regular 1922D. We got the 1922 plain, which is the Philadelphia mint, the no mint mark penny. We got the 1922 weak D, and the 1922 no D with the weak reverse, and a 1922 no D strong reverse. So let me kind of explain that real quick. I do have a whole video on that, but basically the 1922D with the full mint mark is just a semi-key date that was struck with the new dies. Now the 1922 weak D, you got that weak D mint mark because the dies were overworked, but they were not as overused as the dies that created the no D. And that's the next one, the 1922 no D with the weak reverse. So the obverse and the reverse of the coin were both struck with overused dies. And that's why you got the weak reverse and the no D because of the overused dies. Now the 1922D strong reverse, the obverse was struck with an overused die and the reverse was struck with a new die. So we got the strong reverse because it was struck with a new die and then the no D on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin, was struck with an overused die and that's how you get that no D. So there are different ones to look for. What a lot of people do is that they will use a tool to scratch away the D to make it a 1922 no D. And you will usually see some kind of mark where the mint mark would be or where someone you know scratched it off or used some type of uh, whatever to get it off. But the 1922 regular penny goes for 300 to 1000 dollars and you've seen the prices of all of the other coins. So here's an example of a 1922 no D that's graded at about uncirculated 58. This one here sold for over seven thousand dollars. So they can sell for a lot more money if they are uh, higher graded versions of the coin. So keep that in mind as well. So you got the 1909, you got the 1914, and 1922. If you guys have any of those coins, you definitely always wanna be on the lookout for fake ones because you definitely don't wanna get scammed and buy a fake one for your collection. So always keep that in mind when you do come across the 1909, 1914, or 1922 penny. All right guys, until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.